Hello, it's Tanya. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. What I want to do today is I want to make some hidden paper clips. I really think this would be a fun little project. It would be a great mass make or scrap buster. And I have tons of scraps, okay? So that's what we're doing today. We're going to make some hidden paper clips. So what you need to do is just, like I said, get you out some scraps that you have and you need two piles. I've already cut them down. The first one will be two inches by five and a quarter. The second one will be your smaller one and it is one and three fourths by five, okay? Then you'll just need some paper clips and I got these pin and gear. You get a hundred at Walmart and you can use any size you wanted. I just wanted to get the kind of small ones. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide Vintage Photo and I'm going to use my Barely Art Glue and then just get your stamps that you like. You may hear Maggie because she is playing with Melvin and she is rambunctious. <laughs> All right, so I may use the Tim Holtz Field Notes. I may use Correspondence. And I may use Eccentric. I love Eccentric. And then I have some little mushroom stamps. I don't know where I got them. Maybe off of Amazon, maybe Timu. I'll link anything that I can, okay? And then you're just going to need some little snippets so we'll see what we actually end up using okay this is so simple what i'm going to do is fold this in half and like i said before if you have problems folding things in half get your scoreboard and put it up against it but i think i can even manage to do this <laughs> all right let me find my phone folder all right Gonna go ahead and just bend them, fold them in two, and you can see they're gonna go inside each other. So I'll go ahead and do one of each. Okay, and then we're gonna slip it up in there and it's going to be hidden. And then we're gonna decorate it. It's really gonna be cute, okay? So let me get these all folded. Some of these papers were really, I mean, I think they're going to make some really pretty hidden paper clips. Look at that. And look, from either side, I mean, if you wanted that side or this side, I think I'll just turn it to this side, but either one would be beautiful. And if you don't quite get it right, just put it back down there. Once you get started with this, you can just go and go. Like I said, it's a perfect mass make scrap buster. Okay, so we'll fold these and I'm gonna keep them separated, although you can tell which ones are which. Now I wouldn't use really flimsy cardstock for this. I don't think it would work so well. I mean, you can try it, but I don't think it would. I think it needs to have a little bit of oomph to it. And I seem to have had a lot of this paper right here. So I'm going to have two of those on the inside. Because they're not going to see them. Alright, so what you want to do, and you've probably seen this like a million times. I'm going to go ahead and distress this with my vintage photo. You could even use whatever color you want it, and I'm going to distress both sides. And you don't have to distress this because they're not going to see it, okay? So what you want to do is get your paper clip, put it over in the center of your smaller one, and center it up like that, okay? Then we're going to open this up, and you don't want to put it all the way up in there. You want to give it some room so it will come down. And then we're just going to glue this. 
This is so, such a wonderful idea. Make sure you put that all around the paper clip, all around this. You don't want to seal your paper clip up, but that's what you want to do. And then I'm going to take, and Maggie is upset because her daddy is not listening to her. Just gonna put some right in through here. Okay. You would think she was in there dying. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now, like I said, you don't want it all the way. And then I'm going to flip it over and glue this. Because I want it to seal. And I'm going to glue right on here, too. And just put that right there. Press it down. This is such a clever little idea. And then, let me get a piece of paper. Say this is your paper. Then it just goes on it like this. And it's quite secure. It can go on the side. It can go on the top. I just love this. It's so fun to make. Once you get started, you don't want to stop. So let's go ahead and embellish this. Maggie is having a fit. I think I'm gonna get some black soot, just a minute. All right, let's see what I might want to put on this. I'm gonna get out the Tim Holtz Eccentric. And I weeded mine out because I was, it was just too hard to try to deal with that. Taking it out and putting it down in there, ugh. Okay, let's see. What is this? All right, what might I want to put on here? Maybe that number. When I first looked at this, I saw something, and now I have no clue what it was. Um, ticket. Maybe I'll put ticket there, serial number there. And I need to put, no, I don't wanna do that. Let's see. Might put those down through there like that, those little stars with ticket. And then, well, let's just do that for now and see what we think. Okay. So let's see. Now I'm kind of on the, um, Paper clip, I could feel it, but that's all right. I think that turned out really cute. And then maybe I will put that number down here. It's just really whatever you want to do. You don't have to use the black soot. You could use another color if that's what you wanted. I'm sure you've seen so many people make these. Oh, I love that. But you know, they're just fun and they're a great beginner and I just really enjoy doing it. So I thought, why not? I hadn't done any of these. Why not do one? Oh, that's cute. And you can do it in different colors. Like I could have done those little stars in red or whatever that I wanted to do. So let's see what we might want to put on there. Since we're talking about a ticket, but that might, I could hang it over and cut it off. 
That is a ticket. I could do that. I could do maybe that. Or... Maybe like... I don't really like that. I think it needs some color to it. Maybe I could put that there. That. Or I could put that there. Let's see. Oh, maybe I would want to do this. That really looks like a ticket. And maybe put that under there. Like that. And maybe, uh, I don't need more numbers. Do I even need that number? Okay, I like the ticket. Let's keep looking and see what we might want to put on here. I think a lot of these are just numbers. These are stickers, but I'm not 100% sure that they are. I like that. I like that so far. Okay, let's, let's try that. Let's see, is this a sticker? Because I truly do not know. Yes, it's a sticker. Thought it might be, but I wasn't sure. It says ticket for steamship. Okay, and then we could put that on there, glue that on there. I like that. So let's see. Okay. That is really cute, okay? And say when you do it like this, that's what it would look like. Okay, so we have this one. I think that is really cute. All right, let's see what else we might want to do. Let's look at, oh, I'm kind of anxious to see this one, okay? So let's work with this one. And same process, put this in the center, okay, then we're going to get our glue back out, and we're going to just glue this all over here, make sure you put a lot of glue, and that stays in the center and then we're just going to put that right there but to where it will shut and I didn't ink this one first and that's that's fine it won't hurt okay then we're going to come up here okay and then we're just going to press this down And then you can see it fits perfectly, okay? So we're gonna do that. Now I cannot wait to see what I might want to put on that. So here is this one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ink this. You can ink it before or after. It really doesn't matter what you do. All right, that is really gonna be pretty, I think. All right, now let's see. What might I want now? These are stickers as well, so let's see. Okay, let's look at this. Okay. 
There's that. That might be pretty right there. And then I could put, okay, I think I'm going to get my ground espresso and stamp something on there, but sort of stamp off. I think I'm going to get this off of Field Notes. Just sort of stamp off of there. I love that, okay? And we may put some brads in these. So, let's see. Put that there. That under there. That might be really pretty like that. Um, because it has so much going down through there. Let's see. Make sure that's what we want to do before we do it. Oh, no. Let me look in this. This is the Field Notes ephemera. I think Field Notes. This is some more of Tim Holtz ephemera. So, let's look. We might just want to put something on here. Maybe ticket. I don't know, they're both so big. Let's see. Well, that looks kind of good. Maybe I want a flower on that instead of something like that let's see but i need a smaller flower i don't hmm. i could do that that's pretty Yeah, that really hides that. Let's see. Is there anything else we would rather put on here? Than what we have. No, I think that's too dark. Way too dark. That kind of looks like that same flower. Do I like that better or do I like... I think I like that better. Let's just try and see. No, I think I'll just do this, okay? So, I'll just go ahead and get my Barely Art Glue. I think I'll put that about right there. Maybe kind of have that coming. Do I want it to look like it's coming off? Maybe I do. Okay, then I'll just cut with my scissors that do not let anything stick like that. So we have two of those now. They look very vintage, these tags do, okay? So let's see what might I want to do with my next one. I have this. And I was thinking I might put a, um, 
like a person on this one. Let's see. She has her little baby doll. And I could cut that much off, maybe. Or I could put this one here. Uh, I don't know, she's kind of long. Let's see, what do we have? Some of them are just so long. See, I mean, you wouldn't want to cut all that much off. <laughs> He's funny. Let's look at her. What? How much would have to come off of her? Just her legs. And then there's this little guy. So it's either going to be, that's way too much to take off. Um, it's either going to be this little girl, kind of like her, or this one with her baby doll. Let's see, let me see about their feet. This one. Or this little boy. I think I'm going to do the little girl. I think I'm going to put her here. And then I think I'm going to put... Let's see. What? I was thinking about this, but that takes up so much room. I really don't want to do that. If they had it smaller, that would be a possibility. These are stickers as well. Kind of looks like maybe something there. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, what else? head kind of shows up better with that. I could layer those, but I don't want it. I want one in more than the other. I think it just looks better that way. And then maybe put, all right, let's see. I'm going to put this one on Oh, goodness. Okay. I put this one down. And these are stickers as well. Okay, and then there would be her head. And this little guy... Oh, I, I like that much better, actually. Oh, yes. Sometimes you just kind of got to go for it, and you can find out what you really like, as opposed to what I was going to do. I like this much better. See, I think that looks better, much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and put her on, and I didn't... Um, distress that one yet. Okay, we'll put her on. And some of her feet are going to be cut off. So we'll just wait. <laughs> yes, I love that. Okay, now let's cut these off with my scissors that nothing sticks to oh that is cute 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 okay and do i want to put anything else on there i just think that's really cute 
No, I don't think I, I really don't think I need anything else. Um, I mean, I could put that on there if I wanted. Okay, let's, let's look at doing that. We'll just put this right up through there like that. I like that, okay? And we will go ahead and just use Vintage Photo to distress this with. And I just think this is precious. It's so cute. So vintage looking. So there's three so far. Now what I haven't done is put a paper clip in, in there. <laughs> I got so busy, I didn't do it, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. We can still do it, okay? Okay, then we'll just put our little paper clip right in here. Press it down. And then we'll glue this one on the top. That is so cute. I love it. And then that fits right in there like that. So adorable. Okay, we'll do one more. But I'm going to do this one before I decorate it. I think it's kind of best to do it that way. Then you don't get distracted. All right, and just put that right in there. Like that, you can see how simple this really is to do. Then it just slips right up in there, okay? Now, how do we want to decorate this one? Maybe we will stamp some mushrooms on this one. Okay, let's try to just stamp maybe those mushrooms. Maybe I would prefer to do a flowers on this. I think that's really pretty. something like that I think that's cute so we'll need to put this one down first and these are those stickers that I had a horrible time getting off so you just have to have something super sharp okay we'll put that like that and we'll just cut these edges okay and then maybe I'll put where do I want to put that one maybe just like that right over top of it just gotta try to get at that edge They're just sort of layered. Yeah, let me see if there's anything I want to put on that. Oh, here's something I have to cut off. I just saw it. Now this is kind of peach. I don't like that. All right, let me just look in here really quickly. See if I want to put a a number. Maybe a stamp. Oh, I think that's too much. Well, maybe I'll just put a number. Maybe 
I'll put just a two. No, I'll put a three. Then we're going to put some eyelets in these. Yeah, there you go. I think that looks good. All right. So let's go ahead and put our little brads in there. I hope I've been in frame. All right, let's look. I think we're going to use the 3 sixteenths, and I think I'm going to put this one. Now, you don't want to go over where your paper clip is. I think I'm going to move this up a little. Right there. Could put that down a little more. So, I am going to back the next one back. Okay, I think that's really cute. And if mine just locked, and if it ever locks, you can only unlock it when it's shut, your crocodile, and you just do that, press that little button. Okay, let me get a little bulb pin right here. And I'm gonna put this right here. I'll let that hang down. Okay, and that says focus on the good. I like that. I really don't have any other um, little dangles. I've ordered some, but they haven't come in, and I don't want to put the same thing on each one of them. Uh, let me see. Well, here are my hidden paper clips for your junk journal. I think these turned out so adorable. Two of them I used eyelets on, and the other two I didn't. You don't have to do the eyelets. On this one, I just went ahead and put this little button on this bulb pen that I had. I thought it matched the colors. And then on the back, I just did this. I just, I don't know. I just thought it was really super cute. Then on this one, I did this, focus on the good. I love this. And then over here, I just did that. Now I had a little bit of problem right there with my eyelet, but look how pretty that is. And then right here, this one is super adorable. Love how it turned out. I wanted it just really simple back here. And then here is the ticket one we did. I just, I think that is really cute. And like I said earlier, you just slip these right over your paper like that. They can go on the side. They can go from the top. You could put something else on here. And um, like the, I have a stamp that's like it. It's not a stamp. I have a punch like this. You could take that and put that on the top and make it stick out even more. I just think these are really cute. I hope you enjoyed this hidden paperclip tutorial. I had so much fun making these. When you get started, you can really crank them out. I think these look so vintage and grungy. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay crafty!